Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in this part two. I ought to just really delete that last video, but you might learn a little bit from it. From it. But I had one of my viewers, and actually an internet friend, and I met him a couple times for lunch even. He lives in my state, and we've met at different events. So I thank him for that. We have 104 objects, because this was imported off like a CAD program or something, and each line is different. And it's uh, not very uh, useful. It'll make the laser jump around quite a bit. And like I said in the previous video, uh, unless you're going to do more than 10 of these, it's not worth putting them in particular order. But this would drive you crazy because the laser is going to not only jump around from hole to hole, but it's going to jump around with inside the hole. And his suggestion, and it's very true, as soon as he said it, I knew... I'm going to set my nudge distance on 7 inches, and I'm going to use the Smart Fill tool, one click of the mouse, and you've done the same thing that it took me many, many clicks. Get rid of your old one, nudge this one back, and now you have, we'll break it apart, now you have 27 objects. Now, like in the previous video, you always want your largest cut, your outside cut, to be your last cut in case it falls. Uh, every piece will be on the same plane. So just go up to Windows, Dockers, Object Manager, and you can see that our last cut that should be is right there. So for just a second, I'm going to turn that curve blue. I'm going to control page up. Till that blue line gets to the very top. And then I can turn it back to red. I just did it for your convenience on the video. Now it's still going to jump around. It's going to start here. And go from hole to hole. Because that's just the way it was drawn. But it's not too bad. And like I was going to say. If you're going to do more than 10 of these. It might be a, quicker to put them in an order. But just to do one or two. You're not going to, you're not going to save any time by arranging it here and just let the laser move around a little bit so mr j i appreciate that tip and thank you and hope that helped a little bit